Melania just stepped off Air Force One in Texas today and flipped off all her haters with what she did on tarmac. It's been just a little under a quarter way through the presidency of Donald Trump, and he as well as his own family, pretty much have endured every kind of hateful criticism a president could imagine. The latest critique was over an outfit especially, for high heel shoes, that the first lady Melania Trump wore when they went to Texas after Hurricane Harvey's destruction. Liberals, Democrats, fake news media, anyone who hates our president are so desperate and grasping at straws that they have to go after his family over a tire during a visit to provide support to the people in the wake of a natural disaster. During his first visit, President Trump and Melania visited the people and did their best to find out what the victims of this horrific hurricane needed. Even after all of that these liberal fascists went on to try to destroy the first family with their hate. No matter what the first family did, it was not good enough, and all they could focus on was Melania's attire. They struck out on election fraud claim, they struck out with the Russian collaboration, any string these Democrats can pull, they end up coming empty. What was great about the second arrival of the Trump family to Texas is, that Melania showed that she wasn't phased at all from the hate she received. She wore what she felt was appropriate for the situation and didn't care what the critics say. Via the Daily Mail, she was labeled out of touch and disrespectful by critics after traveling to Texas earlier this to tour flood zones in a pair of towering black stilettos. But Melania Trump had a clear message for naysayers on Saturday as she made her second trip to the disaster-struck state, the high heels are here to stay. Defiant as she emerged from the White House, the First Lady strode confidently towards Maureen One in her $1,590 Ralph Lauren safari shirt dress and a pair of $650 Manolo Blahnik snakeskin pumps. Clinging to her husband for some support as her stiletto point dug into the grass on the south lawn, she turned her back on a wave of criticism she received on Tuesday during her first visit to Harvey Hit regions. As the hurricane continued beating rain down on Houston, swamping entire neighborhoods and leaving thousands clambering to their roofs to be rescued, Melania emerged from the White House on Tuesday morning in a black version of the heels she wore on Saturday, a bomber jacket and some oversized sunglasses. Once they had landed in Texas, she changed into a more appropriate outfit of pants, a white shirt and sneakers. Her cap, which had flotas stitched on the front, offended many given the grave circumstances in Houston where the bodies of victims floated through flood water and where the only way out was by boat or aircraft. The high heels worn earlier in the day however dominated conversation about the president's visit to the afflicted state and divided opinion. Who wears high heels to a flood-ravaged community, was one of the complaints before she changed into her shiny white sneakers. There was a dose of fresh outrage on Saturday when she emerged in her second set of pumps. Melania in heels again. Does she knew it's flood week and not fashion week in TX? Maybe she'll emerge in her white sneakers again, said one deflated Twitter user. Some said the outfit was even worse than her first attempt. Melania in her heels and a dress this time. Trumps are a total fail at optics. A big food to hurricane victims. Their complaints were in the minority, however. Elsewhere, there was resounding approval for the look from her fans. Supporters praised Melania for not giving in to the flack and celebrated her as a troll master and bada. Flotus Melania stayed true to herself and to hell with the haters, as she boarded Air Force One in high heels. She's a troll master. Love her, there's observed, Melania is trolling with those heels. There was no sign of mischief from the First Lady throughout the day. She was sincere as she gave out food to evacuees at the NRG Stadium and upbeat as she played with children. Getting stuck in with her husband, the pair lugged cases of water onto the back of trucks and caravans which had lined up at a church in the neighborhood of Pearland later. Online, she said nothing of the debate on her clothes but shared a photograph of her offending outfit from the morning, riding alongside it departing for hashtag Houston and hashtag Louisiana hashtag Hurricane Harvey. After Tuesday's backlash, her spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham said, It's sad that we have an active and ongoing natural disaster in Texas, and people are worried about her shoes. It is sad because they are there with the people, 
Even the president donated $1 million of his own money to help the people who went through Harvey. What is worse was, where was the criticism of the Democrats like Hillary Clinton, Obama and others who didn't even show up? When Obama was president, when Louisiana had their disaster with the dams, he went golfing, but according to the left, what the president's wife wore was more important to them and this shows their unhinged hatred for this family, and this needs to stop. Share this if you love Melania and don't care what she wears. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook, and liking it, and follow up, and thank you for watching.